Hi, in this video, we will learn to scrap the data from the websites. But keep in mind that scrapping data from the websites could be a legal issue as well. So in this tutorial, we will restrict ourselves to the website wikipedia.org. The data that we will scrape is the historical data of the rugby union matches that were played between England and Wales since 1881. A total of 131 matches have been played with England winning 61 times and Wales winning 57 times while 12 matches went into a draw between the two. Let me fire up Google Chrome and in the search bar if we type England and Wales rugby union matches history and hit enter. The very first link that appears on Google search is the one we are looking for. So let's click that and it lands us onto the website. There are a couple of tables but the one specifically we are interested into for data scrapping is the results with the column number one being the numbers, the column number two being date on which the final match was played, the venue, score, who was the winner, the competition and the match report. If we select results and right click to inspect and it's specifically if we move cursor on the link table, it basically highlights the table that we are interested into. And in the attribute, we can see table attribute has a class wiki table. This is important because these two things will be used for scrapping through the functions in R. So just close this website and return back onto the R script. For passing data from a website, we need a package named Arvest. This package offers a number of features that can help extracting data such as a table from a website. First, we will install the packages necessary for web passing. We will use native function install.packages and pass the arguments that is a list of packages that need be installed and dependencies to be true. Then we will attach these packages in our R environment. Now let us define the URL of that Wikipedia page which we have seen earlier into an R object called URL. Next, we will use function read underscore HTML from the package XML2 that would have been installed as a dependency package while installing our web package. This read underscore HTML function converts the HTML data into XML object. So let's create an object called rugby HTML data 
that will be assigned the output from read underscore HTML function and the URL object passed to it as an argument. We now will use function HTML underscore nodes from RBIS package. The argument passed to it is XPath and in our case XPath will be table dot wiki table. We see that the HTML table is converted into a data frame and is available to us in global environment as Rugby data data frame. Let's click on this and as we see the table is correctly converted into data frame. Let's close it. Alternatively, we can also view the data frame into an editor using R's native function edit. In the next video, we will learn to load data from a database. Thank you.